Hey guys, I just wanted to touch base on some of these um, antenna modification kits and the wires you get when you buy them. The different types of 2.4 antennas and basically what you can do if you get a faulty, especially on this transmitter, a faulty SMA to IPEX wire. Um, also, if you mess something up when you're doing the standard transmitter modification if you I might what's called a UFL connector that's what's on the board that's what these tiny little IPEX ends they pop into if you broke them or bent them and they're not usable if as long as you have a soldering iron or a soldering station you can fix this okay so if you were doing your antenna mods and you messed up what's called a UFL connector or you screwed up the IPEX connection I had to do this myself because the UFL connector broke right off the board I'll try to get a flashlight so you can see okay you see the you see the 5.8 on the left side here that still has the regular IPEX that snaps onto that little ring it's called a UFL. That's the 2.4. Look at the 5.8. I had the the UFL connector broke off of the board, so I had to split the wire. You split the outer braided wire, and all you have to do is solder it to a ground on the board, and then the middle wire is shielded by a little bit of plastic and you carefully solder that to the module's positive input. It's right in the center. I mean, it's almost it's so small. This was kind of difficult to do. But as long as the outer braided wire is soldered to a ground on the, the control board and the middle wire is soldered to this input's positive signal, which is very small. And then you do a continuity test, and you got to make sure um, that none of these tiny little braided wires touch any part of the positive. So just take your time, or you can take an entire antenna, cut this SMA off, and then you're working with a lot, you know, more wire. You can cut this. I've seen people run them out the sides of, you know, because you, you can bend these around and you would just split this and solder it the same way that solder, but you'd be dealing with a lot thicker wire. And then there actually is a little spot right there where you can actually have an antenna coming out like that. So if you messed up your UFL, that's what they're called. That I wish this camera would focus. You just solder the outer braided wire to a ground and the middle wire to the modules. Tiny little positive input. And that fixes your problem. Okay, so if you needed to uh, splice your wire, that's actually a better connection than an IPEX to UFL. That's what those wires are. But I'm going to show you, if you're not sure which one is the ground or which one is the positive, use a multimeter and set it on continuity test so it beeps. Now what I'm going to do is, it doesn't matter if you use the red or the black when you're doing a continuity test. All that means is when you have metal to metal contact, they are going to beep. So that's how you can find the ground. There's actually four tiny little ones, and then there's one positive one. That is the signal wire from here, from your antennas. So basically, you can hold this on a main ground, I mean right here, and then go to the outer braided wire. and it beeps so there is signal there now 
to test that your connections are good, you can do the same thing. Hold it on the outer shield, that, you know, where the threads are, and then touch the module's ground. All right, we got signal. Now to do the inner pin. That's very important. Remember, there's two wires here, not one. And in an earlier video, I said that they needed to create a loop circuit. That's not what I meant. Uh, basically, electricity comes, most of it is grounding, uh, comes off and goes to these antennas. And then it, you know, it basically radiates around in like a donut shape, and then the, the positive comes back through the middle. So if you look at this 2.4, the tip of this is the weakest transmission point. So if you're flying, don't point the antenna at it. You want it at a little angle, like about there, because the right here is your strongest transmission point. But anyway, back to the continuity test. I'm on the center pin now. Now you need to go to the positive module. Boom. So now you know you you did it right. And if you you I mean, if you're not sure on where to solder these, there's only one positive wire that is where this UFL connector would have been but since it broke off I had to split this open and like I said before uh, you can use thicker gauge wire or even an entire antenna and cut the SMA off and then split those and solder them the exact same way this actually is a more solid connection but it is kind of nice when you got a uh, IPEX or UFL that has four solder points and then one positive signal. And another thing you can do if you're really, really, really not sure is you're going to take one of your test leads. I'm going to set this down a little bit. Go to the main ground where the battery goes and touch across here. Okay, it's not beeping not beeping you can run all the way across now this should be there you go there's also another one here but it's so small I don't even know if I can touch it and it also should from the battery to the outside boom so now we have signal going through the whole thing you can also do that over here